Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and I talk a lot about Salesforce. Today we're gonna to be going over the certification path or different certifications I would recommend for Salesforce admins to get. So Salesforce certifications are a really fantastic way to show that you have knowledge in a particular area of Salesforce. This could be getting an associate certification, an admin certification or consultant certifications, developer certifications, so many certifications like Seriously, there are so many certifications for Salesforce. It is mind boggling. While that's great that there are so many certifications and you can show that you have knowledge in so many different paths, it can get so confusing as to what certifications you should get for what path. So I'm starting the series on my channel where we're going over different roles, which certifications I would get to be in that role, um, kind of what certification path I would go down for that role, any other types of certifications I would get. So. Let's go ahead and get into this list. I have seven certifications for an admin to get. They're going to be both technical and non-technical certifications, and we'll get into what that means. This is what I would do if I were starting over and I wanted to just be a really fantastic admin. So of course, the first certification I am just about always going to recommend to you is get the associate certification. This one is new. This one is um, a really great starter certification. So the associate certification is 40 questions. It's going to be a multiple choice question test where you are going to be answering questions about the Salesforce ecosystem, how to learn Salesforce on Trailhead and the different features of Trailhead, how to report on Salesforce, the data model, some of the security model. And it's a really great way to get your feet wet to understand if you want to have a further career as a Salesforce admin. A lot of times I get questions in my DMs and in my comments saying if they should get the Salesforce associate certification or if you should just go um, straight to admin or if people can get a job just with the associate certification. I don't think that you could get a Salesforce exclusive job with just the associate certification, at least for the majority of people. Um, a Salesforce associate certification is great if you want to leverage yourself into a higher paying job than you currently have that uses Salesforce to show that you have some proficiency as a user within Salesforce. Um, so a lot of times you could use this to go into maybe IT help desk. You could use this to go into a sales operations role, a revenue operations role, into a sales or a customer success role that uses Salesforce. And then you can use that job to help you learn more about Salesforce and go into an admin role. So that brings us to the next certification, which is going to be the admin certification. So this certification, this certification is difficult. One, you're new. Two, they make it really tricky to try and weed you out. And it's just, it bounces all over the place. It covers a lot of different information. So the admin certification will show that you are a Salesforce admin, that you know how to do the basic things that a Salesforce admin should need to know. Things like user management, the data model, the security model, automations, reporting, and a lot of other stuff. This one is going to be more difficult than the associate one. Um, that's why the associate is so great is because it lets you know if being a Salesforce admin or continuing down the Salesforce career is right for you. Once you have the Salesforce admin certification, then you could go a couple of different ways. I did think about adding the app builder certification to this and the app builder is great for um, understanding the difference and where the line is between being a Salesforce admin and a developer and what project should go to an admin versus a developer. But this certification path is just for admins. So the next certification is going to be a technical certification, which is going to be Sales Cloud. So what, what is Sales Cloud? Salesforce has different sections of it. So you could use Salesforce for selling things. You could use Salesforce for customer service. You could use it for billing and creating quotes. You could use Salesforce for mobile usage, like if you are a plumber or a delivery driver for that purpose. But Sales Cloud is just all the tools that you're going to use in Salesforce that relate to selling. So these are going to be things like the objects of leads, opportunities, contacts, accounts, things that you are using to sell to people. Also includes different automations, different tools like forecasting within Salesforce, but Sales Cloud is one of the most generic groups of tools that you'll be using within Salesforce. So that's why I added this on this list as a part of the path because most admins will need to be able to master Sales Cloud to be a really great admin. And along these lines adds our fourth certification that I would recommend you getting, which is going to be Service Cloud. These both Sales and Service Cloud are going to work in tandem with one another. So once you are done selling to someone, then oftentimes you have customer support requests for that same product and from that same customer. So Service Cloud, very similar to Sales Cloud, but instead of focusing on the selling products and the selling tools and functionalities of Salesforce, you'll be working on the service 
things within Salesforce. So this is going to be things like cases, contacts, accounts, which cases are going to be your main functionality as well as knowledge. So cases are going to be where your requests come in for customer service, your tickets or your requests from your customers. You're gonna be using different automations like case automation roles, case escalation roles, maybe case auto response roles to help create the best experience for the customer who's having their customer service issue with your product or your service. That is probably the second most used Salesforce cloud product out of all the other ones that I've experienced. So it's really, really helpful for a Salesforce admin to be uh, knowledgeable about this, even though it is a consultant certification, it's really, really helpful for an admin to know all those things that come along with that specific cloud. So the next certification on this list is going to be another technical certification. This one is going to be the advanced admin certification. In my other videos, I haven't been shy that I'm not a huge fan of the advanced admin certification, but I am. Um, and I'm, I'm really torn and split because this certification is used in the hiring process to show that you're more of a senior level admin, that you're not just strictly a vanilla admin or an entry level admin, that you know somewhat more. And it's used by hiring managers and recruiters that way, but I don't feel like the exam actually reflects that. I feel like the exam is just difficult in all the ways that it shouldn't be difficult in. And what do I mean by that? The advanced admin certification tests on random one-off pieces of permission that unless you come across a very niche situation within your Salesforce org, you're probably never going to use that permission and you're never gonna see it in your Salesforce career again. I feel like there could be a lot better uses for that certification title to show that you are more senior level admin, that you know more about data architecture or that you know more about the security and that you are more of a senior level admin rather than just understanding a bunch of random permissions and memorizing them. So that's kind of my beef with it. But it is a really great certification to show that you are a senior level admin, that you have an understanding of Salesforce. And mainly it's just, it's used to show people that are just taking a quick look at your profile on LinkedIn or have searched for someone to show that you do have um, a higher level of proficiency. Okay, so those were the technical certifications. And when I say technical certifications, I mean things that are dealing with the functionality of Salesforce that are going to be, how do you use this one specific tool? Or what's the best practices when it comes to building out this particular section of Salesforce? Now, we're gonna move into some of the non-technical certifications, which I think that every admin should have these skills. Now, these are great to sprinkle in between all your technical certifications, because while they may not get you a particular job, they are going to help your job that you're currently working at a lot and help you understand a lot more people um, and where people are coming from and how to build out better things within Salesforce as an admin. Um, the first one is going to be the business analyst certification. This one I think is so, so, so helpful to your job as an admin, especially if you're a solo admin. This one helps you understand the product life cycle and it helps you ask better questions. That's the number one thing I learned from this certification is how to ask better questions and how to ask deeper questions so then you can understand the heart at what someone wants to be built out within Salesforce and what functionality they want to be built out within Salesforce. So then you're not just taking orders and really understanding what the purpose is behind it so then you can build a better product for people. And this certification I felt like was fairly easy to pick up. I think it took me two weeks of studying to pick this up. It is a choose one out of three. And so, so this certification is going to be a little bit easier than the more technical certifications uh, because it's a choose one out of three, whereas the technical certifications are gonna be like a choose one out of four or a choose two out of five or a choose three out of five. This certification has less options, so it's easier, as well as this certification is more concept focused, whereas the other ones are more functionality focused. So and for me, it's a little bit easier to pick up concepts than it is to pick up the intricacies of each functionality. All right, and the last non-technical certification that I do want to mention is going to be the sales rep certification. This certification is going to be really similar to the business analyst certification where it focuses more on concepts rather than functionality. And so it is another one that's fairly easy to pick up. And I find it really useful to be able to understand more of sales processes, how to have an ideal sales process, um, what the different stages of selling are, um, all those things. And this one is super useful for admins because it helps you build more towards an ideal of 
what you want the selling process to look like so you can assist your salespeople to do better by creating a better system that works more towards an ideal. And while selling processes across products and industries can look vastly different, this certification focuses more on the generalities of the entire sales and selling processes. And so it's a really great one to pick up. So that is a recommended Salesforce certification path that I would recommend if you are wanting to become a really awesome admin. There are other certifications that can be super useful that I debated putting in here. Like we mentioned the App Builder certification is one that I thought about putting in this list, but it did kind of cross over with developer. If you have any more recommendations of things that you would put on this list, why you would put it on this list, please put it down in the description and tell me why you'd want to put it there. So I hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to give it a like, subscribe. You can connect with me on LinkedIn and Twitter at Emily Call MBA. You can check out my certification courses down below in the description. I worked really hard on them with my husband, Jeremy, who is also a Salesforce professional to help you get certified quickly and efficiently. So I hope that you found this video helpful. With that being said, thank you so much. I'll catch you guys in the next one.